Are you ready to unlock your full potential and maximize your productivity? Look no further than Productivity Smart, the ultimate audio podcast hosted by renowned productivity expert, Gerald J. Leonard. In every episode, Gerald shares captivating stories, invaluable tips, and cutting-edge strategies that will transform the way you approach productivity. Whether you're looking to reduce stress, overcome overwhelm, or simply get more done in less time, Productivity Smarts has got you covered. But that's not all. You'll also gain inspiration from real-life success stories of individuals who have achieved greatness through productivity. Plus, you'll learn the latest tools, techniques, and habits that will help you achieve a new level of happiness and fulfillment in your personal and professional life. So why wait? Join us every week as we delve into the exciting world of productivity and help you unleash your full potential. Get ready to take your productivity to the next level with Productivity Smarts. As a productivity expert and host of the Productivity Smarts podcast, Gerald J. Leonard has been a proud supporter of Kiva since 2011. Kiva is a non-profit organization that helps entrepreneurs in third world countries access the capital they need to start or grow their businesses. By making a small loan through Kiva, you can help these entrepreneurs achieve their dreams, support their families, and contribute to their local economies. And with a repayment rate of over 96%, your loan can be re-lent to another entrepreneur once it's repaid, creating a ripple effect of positive change. So if you're looking for a meaningful way to make a difference in the world, consider making a loan through Kiva. With loans as small as $25, anyone can be a micro-lender and help change lives. Visit kiva.org to learn more and start lending today. Today, we're diving deep into a topic that resonates with many of us, achieving that elusive work-life balance. Let's get into it, because the struggle is real. You may feel like juggling a thousand tasks, wondering if you're missing something crucial, or burning the candle at both ends. Let's talk about how you can transform your work-life balance and regain control over your time. Now, before we get started, I want to mention something to you that you can find in the show notes that will help you with your journey. I've got a free Productivity Smarts weekly evaluation worksheet for you. This will help you gauge your current productivity level and pinpoint areas for improvement. You can grab it from the show notes. Now, let's get started here. And let's be honest. Consistently being overwhelmed is no way to live. Missing out on family time, feeling like you're always chasing fires and trying to put out fires, and wondering when things will change. Sounds familiar? Well, stick around because we will dive into seven strategies to help you regain your work-life balance and maximize your productivity. Imagine a life where you can meet your current career ambition without sacrificing precious family moments. Picture having the time and headspace to excel at work without stress weighing you down. We're journeying from chaos of constant hassle to the balance that empowers you to thrive in every aspect of your life. So, let's just jump right into this. Strategy number one, the power of prioritization. First, let's talk about the golden rule of productivity. It's prioritization. Neuroscience confirms that our brains can only focus on a handful of tasks effectively. There's no such thing as multitasking, so we need to focus very narrowly our attention on a single task and on a handful of tasks for that day. So, why not make each task count? You'll achieve more by prioritizing tasks that align with your goals while avoiding burnout. Strategy number two. It's the 80-20 principle. Have you ever heard of the Pareto principle? It's simple yet transformative. 80% of your results comes from 20% of your efforts. So let's pinpoint those high impact tasks and delegate or eliminate the rest. It's time to shift from busy work to meaningful impact. Strategy number three. Embrace the power of no. Yes, you heard me right. Embrace the power of no. Ancient philosophers and modern productivity experts agree 
that saying no is a superpower. It's not about being negative. It's about guarding your time like a valuable resource. Learn to say no to the trivial and yes to what matters most. Now, before we take a deeper dive into these seven strategies, I want to take a moment to tell you about a fantastic book, A Symphony of Choices. Introducing A Symphony of Choices, the must-read book for any manager looking to improve their decision-making, project management, and workplace engagement skills. Author Gerald J. Leonard takes readers on a journey through a high-pressure season for a symphony orchestra, where a mentorship program was implemented to turn things around. Through real-life examples and relatable anecdotes, you'll learn how mentorship can transform a team, boost productivity, and achieve outstanding results. This book is not just for music industry professionals, but for anyone in a leadership position who wants to improve their management skills. With practical tips and actionable advice, you'll discover how to make sound decisions in high-pressure situations, motivate your team to achieve their best work, Manage complex projects with ease. Foster a culture of collaboration and teamwork. And much more. A Symphony of Choices is a timely resource full of practical tools and real examples that will help you build the knowledge and skills to thrive in a project-driven world. Antonio Nieto Rodriguez. A Symphony of Choices is a book that will inspire and empower you to become a better leader. Whether you're a seasoned executive or just starting out in your career, this book is an invaluable resource for anyone looking to improve their management skills and achieve success in the workplace. Order your copy today and join the thousands of managers who have already benefited from the mentorship lessons presented in A Symphony of Choices. Welcome back. Strategy number four, time blocking for success. Here's where strategies meets execution. Neuroscientists have found that our brains thrive on routine. You'll accomplish more in less time by bl time blocking your day and designating specific slots for focused work. Strategy number five, leverage the Pomodoro technique. The Pomodoro technique backed by scientific studies is a game changer. Break your work into focused sprints followed by short breaks. This approach keeps you sharp, minimizes burnout, and turbocharges your productivity. Number six, the magic of delegation. Let's tackle a big one, delegation. You're not a superhero and you don't need to do it all. Collaborate with your team to empower others and you'll be amazed at how much more you can accomplish by delegating. And number seven, invest in self-care. Lastly, let's talk about self-care. It is not selfish, it's essential. Studies show that well-rested individuals are more productive and make better decisions. So take breaks, exercise, make time for the things that you enjoy. So where does this leave us? Picture a future where your work-life balance isn't just a distant dream. It's a reality that empowers you to excel at work and cherish those precious moments with your loved ones. But I don't want this to be just another podcast you listen to. I want you to take action. So download our free worksheet, discover how to set goals, build high-performing teams, and increase your productivity from the show notes. Commit to making small changes every day. Whether time blocking for a family dinner or saying no to a non-essential task. And remember that achieving work-life balance isn't a one-time fix. It's an ongoing journey, and I'm here to support you every step of the way. Commit to your growth and well-being and make work-life balance more than a buzzword. It's a way of life. Thank you for tuning in to the Productivity Smarts podcast. And remember, every goal is a project and now everyone is a project manager. Let's conquer your goals together. If you're enjoying the content and finding it valuable, we would appreciate it if you could take a moment and leave us a review. Your feedback is important to us and helps us reach a wider audience. 
If you leave us a five-star review, it would mean the world to us. Not only does it help us improve the podcast, but it also helps us attract more sponsors and grow our community. Thank you again for your support and for listening to the Productivity Smart Podcast. Thank you for tuning in to Productivity Smarts, where we help you achieve your goals and live your best life. We hope you've gained valuable insights and actionable strategies to boost your productivity and increase your happiness and fulfillment. Remember to apply what you've learned and keep striving towards your goals. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our podcast for more inspiring episodes and expert advice from our host, Gerald J. Leonard. Until next time, keep pushing forward and unleashing your productivity smarts.